okay if uh, uh, we can have the partial derivative basically what do we have to do as we know the cost function right now if you just recall it from the logistic regression part what we have to do in our algorithm is first get the cost okay whatever the cost is and then we have to minimize that cost to minimize the cost what should we do we should be doing the partial derivative of it basically we have to after getting okay after getting uh, our cost of two terms okay what our hypothesis predicted and what's the real value we should be minimizing the total cost okay why to get our parameters okay the parameters which will help us actually predict out so that's how the algorithm works and how will this our cost function or our log uh, log loss function will reduce it will be by partial derivative when we do partial derivative of this j of theta we will be getting uh, we get sort of like this uh, let me write this in a new slide so basically we have to minimize j of theta to get uh, the these parameters okay the, this is the theta theta parameter which will actually help us uh, predict out the model so basically uh, we have to do is partial derivative to minimize it so we have this okay partial derivative of theta we get 1 by m i equal to 1 m we have our sigmoid function basically we have our sigmoid function and we will be having theta transpose x minus y i and then x j okay so this is our logistic cost function partial derivative which uh, help us reduce our cost function uh, log loss function which eventually will give us my uh, theta value right so that's about everything uh, about logistic regression we have also looked into the titian boundaries also the last thing before i end this explanation part and move into the uh, lab part what we have is uh, uh, we have seen that how the logistic regression works great for binary classification okay so what we have is uh, we have binary classification where what we are doing basically we are predicting zero and one uh, for example if this is if this cancer is uh, dangerous or not if uh, this email is spam or not so those are where we have two classes but what if we have to do it for multi class multi class classification what about that why do we uh, what do we do over there because we have seen that logistic regression works great in binary classification in that kind of scenario we have a method which is known as opening this okay we have a method which is known as one versus all by using this method we can do multi class classification okay so what we eventually do over here we train a logistic uh, regre logistic regression classifier that is our hypothesis that uh, we have okay we train this for each and every class i okay let's say we have three classes then we train a logistic regression uh, classifier for all of these three classes to predict the probability that y equals to one okay y is equal to one and when any new input x uh, we have any new input x to make a prediction we pick the class i that maximizes uh, the probability okay so basically what we have is if we have three classes let's say uh, we have a triangle class 
we have a circle class, we have a square class. So what we do is we classify a logistic regression. Okay. A logistic regression, I'll go for this one. So the, let's say this is class one, class two, class three. So we uh, create an logistic regression. Okay, for this, we create an logistic regression expression for this. And we create an logistic regression algorithm for this. Okay. Now, what we do is we get the value of uh, y. Okay. We get y equals to 1. Okay. For the, in this scenario, let's say y equals to uh, uh, 0.6 over here. Over here. That is sorry, for if uh, for y equals to 1. Okay. We get the probability that y equals to 1 is uh, 0.6. Over here for y equals to 1, we get the probability that uh, it is basically the p cap. Okay, yes. uh, we get uh, let's say 0.8, and in this scenario again we get 0.6. Okay, we get 0.6 for y equals to 1. Now, what we do at then we maximize. So, for a new input x to make a prediction, we pick the class i whatever the class is we pick the class i that maximizes the profit uh, probability okay so what we basically do we have max i h theta i okay and from this we can know that uh, this one the new uh, the new x input is a circle class because we have the maximum probability over here okay or okay maximum probability over there but in real life scenario if you see we will never get 0.6 over here we will be getting 0.2 we will be getting over here 0.4 okay so the new instance new input x is nothing but uh, uh, something which belongs to the circle class so that's all about logistic reg regression we looked into a lot of math stuff in this uh, tutorial let's jump into our practical sessions to get some hands-on view on how to execute a logistic regression using scikit-learn library.